David Oramanner here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Shure PGA5 microphone kit and also contrasting it against my current setup, which is a Yamaha EAD10 alongside some clip on AKG microphones and some Sterling overheads. So without further ado, let's take a look inside the shore box. Shore user guide. Looks like there's some shore straps for cable management. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so it's a PGA Drum Kit 5. That's the name of it. And we got kick drum mic, three tom mics, and snare mic. Let's open it up and see what else we got in here. Looks like it comes with a nice carrying case. That's pretty cool. Some slots for the mic clips. Just clip on mic clips in there. PJ52 for the kick drum. And I assume these are going to be XLR cables. Yep, some XLR cables. That's really sweet. That comes with the package. All this for, I think, $2.99. So that's a really good deal for all this equipment. So yeah, let's, let's mic up these bad boys and hopefully uh, my sounds will be improved. Okay, so as you can see, got them all mic'd. I'm using the PGA56 for the toms with the rim mounts that came with the kit package. And I'm all also using the PGA57 for the snare. Now, if you have a four piece kit, you could also use one of these PGA56s for the snare drum and then use the PGA57 for an overhead. But for a five piece kit, this is gonna work the best. Now, the other issue I've noticed is that maybe it's partly due because these drums are really active. It's a fives kit, seven ply maple. They're really um, open and there's a lot of sustain. And I think because of that, there's some vibration ring happening with these clamps. So now I spent some time tuning the floor tom and I got it sounding much better. I also had to tune this rack tom for similar reasons. And disclaimer, I'm sure that if I had a professional engineer, recording engineer here, they'd be able to sort of figure those things out um, perhaps a lot quicker than I and also without changing the tuning so much because I've now had to change the tuning of all these toms. And for now, I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, but disclaimer, I've only been doing the recording of my own drums since COVID started. And although before that I had plenty of teaching and performing experience, but this is only four or five months into recording my own drums in my own basement. So without further ado, let's see what these shore mics sound like.
All right, so the results are in, and I think that this Shure PJ5 kit uh, definitely is a step up from my Yamaha EAD10 plus the AKG mics. The Shure mics picked up a lot more detail than the AKGs, and the kick drum mic was so much better than the Yamaha EAD10. So I think that for $300, this is a great buy, especially considering the fact that you get these XLR cables thrown in, and you also get that these uh, mic clips thrown in, although they're not the highest quality, they work for my situation. And I think that all together, the $300, I'll put the link below in case you guys are interested in checking them out on Amazon. It's a really good deal, and I can't really find anything that matches that in terms of the value that you get for $300. So if you liked any of this material on this channel, or this video is helpful for you, please subscribe and as well as check out my other channel, David O Lessons.